Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to install a saxophone neck cork using one of our pre-beveled saxophone neck corks. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna apply glue, contact cement, to the neck itself. The reason why I'm doing this first is because it takes a while for this glue to dry. Then I'm gonna select one of our pre-beveled saxophone neck corks. You can see the beveled side is the side that's gonna be facing up. So I'm gonna apply, before I apply glue to this, I'm gonna loosen that cork and soften it using a pair of pliers. The reason why I do this is because when you wrap this neck cork around this small diameter, it could crack the fresh neck cork. So once I've softened my neck cork, I can then apply glue to the non-beveled side. Now we just have to wait for these to dry. Now that the glue has dried, both on the neck and the neck cork, we can go ahead and apply. I start from the bottom of the neck and I line my seam up slightly angled towards the tip. That way when I wrap it all the way around, hopefully the bottom here meets evenly. When I apply my neck cork, I use the palm of my hand just to gently roll it just like that. When I get here, I have to apply just a little bit more contact cement to this beveled side. Once that glue is dried, we can fully apply our neck cork. Now that the glue is dried on our bevel, we can fully apply our neck cork. Again, I'm gonna use the palm of my hand just to wrap it around. Now I can trim any excess off with a razor blade. I always make sure I use a fresh razor blade. And now I have to trim this extra bit on the tip. Now we can go ahead and sand. Now that the glue is dried and we've trimmed our neck cork back, we can go ahead and sand to fit for our mouthpiece. It's important to have the mouthpiece that you're going to be using on the instrument, that way you know how much to sand off the neck cork. Here's a tip, so that you don't damage the finish of the neck when you're sanding, I use a little bit of masking tape to protect. Now I can go ahead and start sanding. For this, I'm using an opened mesh sandpaper. This allows all the dust to not get caught up in the grit. As I sand, I'm gonna rotate the neck a little bit. Now I can go ahead and check to see how much more I need to take off. When I get closer to the mouthpiece fitting on the neck cork, I'm gonna switch to a closed sandpaper. This will give me a nice smooth finish. There we go. Now we can just apply cork grease and we're done.